The world is full of never-ending mysteries. Almost every corner of the earth is filled with things and incidents that keep us wondering how is this all possible. Forget nature, even strange trains and platforms have a variety of stories to tell. If you think that Hogwarts Express is the only train with mysteries, then you're in for another surprise. While in the Harry Potter series to board the train, students would run through a barrier that is between platforms 9 and 10. They would then appear on the other side to board the Hogwarts Express. However, that's not the case for the Zanetti train. Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. The Zanetti train is also known as the ghost train since it vanished into thin air with its passengers aboard and the train's and passengers' locations are unknown. It was difficult for authorities to believe since, theoretically, how could an entire train vanish without leaving a trace? Back in 1991, Zanetti, an Italian train pioneer, intended to launch a new train on a newly constructed track to let wealthy passengers ride through the magnificent grandeur of nature in the Lombardy Mountains. This train's primary goal is to provide passengers with a luxurious experience. That means passengers will get food and liquor as they enjoy the beautiful view of nature through their windows. The train's path would pass via the Lombardy Tunnel, which is half a mile long. This tunnel was also believed to be the world's longest train tunnel at the time. When the train was finished with all of the facilities, three beautifully constructed compartments and an engine, Zanetti's management came up with the concept of promoting and advertising their train, as well as trialing it. As a result, they chose 100 people to be the first passengers on this big train, which will transport them for free from the station to the end of the station and back to the beginning station. Passengers will be provided with food and alcohol throughout this free journey. The goal of this free trip is to make this train popular among the wealthy so that they can enjoy it and share their experiences with others, resulting in increased revenue. On 14th July 1991, with 100 passengers and 6 crew members on board, the train left the starting station. While traveling past the scenic grandeur of the Highlands, passengers were enjoying their meals. One by one, the train passed through the stations. Everything was as gorgeous and serene as it appeared. Just as the train entered the tunnel, black smoke billowed from nowhere, blanketing the entire coach in darkness, and passengers began to suffocate. There was a dense white fog as soon as the train reached the tunnel as if they had entered a new zone. The train slowed and the rain became engulfed in fog. The train was seen by many people as it approached the tunnel, but it never emerged. The station on the other side awaited the train's arrival, but it never arrived. Simply put, the train was not visible as it emerged from the tunnel. The Zanny Company's management was perplexed. An investigation was initiated shortly after to locate the missing train and passengers. The train was nowhere to be located despite the efforts of railway personnel and officials who scoured every meter of the tunnel. What gives that this is possible? The train left the starting stations but then vanished without a trace, according to the evidence. Various types of data from the signals and intermediate stations were collected during the inquiry. Unfortunately, it was unable to provide an explanation for how the train and its passengers vanished. Two passengers managed to get off the train in the midst of the mayhem. They didn't know how they were going to get out of the train because it was closed. These two people claimed to be among the invited 100, and the passenger list corroborated their story. According to the two passengers, when the train approached the tunnel, fog appeared out of nowhere and engulfed the train. The fog thickened as the train approached the tunnel's entrance. Even before the train entered the tunnel, these two men panicked and leaped out. As the train approached the tunnel, one of the men reported hearing a hump. He noticed the other man doing the same thing as he jumped out of the train. They both fell hard to the ground, and he couldn't recall anything after that. The only two survivors were examined by the psychiatrist, and it was found that they suffered from sleeping troubles and other forms of stress disorder. However, whatever information these two passengers gave did not provide any evidence or clue as to where the train went. 
because multiple stories were spreading on the train, officials decided it was necessary to shut it down. The tunnel was bombed during World War II and was never reopened. Even after this incredible occurrence, the train's mystery deepened. Many people believe that the train was kidnapped by a mysterious power and that they traveled back in time. It arrived in Mexico around the 1840s, according to many media reports. A doctor in Mexico said decades later that 104 people were admitted to the hospital where she works, but that they had all grown mentally ill. They claimed to have arrived by rail but did not provide any other information. This train has been said to have been seen in several locations in Italy, Russia, Germany, and Romania. Every time the train was viewed by the public, it looked exactly the same as when it vanished in 1911. Regardless of what others have stated or reported, there is yet to be any concrete evidence of this ghost train and what happened to the 104 passengers 